All right, let's bring in Elisa Roadcup, executive director of the Chicago Refugee Coalition, uh, to talk about what's being done to meet the critical needs of those migrants there in Chicago. Elisa, thank you so much for your time. You know, we saw that disturbing video there, uh, shot at the Chicago police station. It's, it's a scene playing out across a lot of departments here. So right now, what is the biggest concern and focus for your organization specifically, and how has that changed over the past few months? Well, Nicole, thank you so much for having me, and thank you for bringing light to this critical humanitarian issue in our own backyard. Um, the Chicago Refugee Coalition was founded to provide dignified relief services for the most vulnerable in our community, so newly arrived refugees. and. What we have seen since last August is a crisis of unprecedented proportion that we have never experienced here in our city. And for our organization, it was critical and crucial to leverage the power of the coalition that we have around us and to bring in partners to come together to be providing creative um, ways and opportunities to be supporting the migrants. Um, they started arriving last August, um, and then there's been a continued arrival um, and an upsurgence as of this last March. So what we see here in Chicago is an incredible outpouring of our community in terms of allocating resources and creative ways to work together. And one example of that is a partnership that we're just launching today with Lori Children's Hospital of Chicago. It's a migrant uh, crisis supply Amazon wish list campaign. And what this enables individuals to do is to put the power of shopping for a cause um, into anyone and everyone's hands. And you see these images of migrants sleeping on the floors of police stations, and it breaks our hearts and everyone thinks, what can we do? We have tangible ways to be supporting and distributing essential goods um, to migrants who are here in our own city. And we're doing that through partnerships with really um, powerful companies and organizations that are enabling us to push this work forward. Alisa, what is your biggest source of funding and how have you had to adjust that, as I would imagine you would have to, uh, as these needs continue to rise? That's a great question. So the Biden administration approved $200 million in essential aid relief. The state of Illinois has approved $20 million for aid relief. The majority of organizations doing this work are waiting to receive those funds. Um, and if they are in partnership and receiving any funding, typically it is reimbursement uh, framed. So small community-based local nonprofits or organizations are having to come up with the funds themselves and then um, request for reimbursement. So what we see is organizations, faith-based communities, organizations like ours coming together to step in for the gap until the federal and the state funding comes through. And, and Lisa, you know, I'm here in Chicago. News Nation is based here in Chicago. So we're very well aware of there's been a lot of back and forth here in the city about where these migrants will be housed, about the resources uh, that will be distributed to them as the city is, is looking for some true viable solutions here. So, Elisa, how is your organization seeing that impact? Is it bringing more attention to a dire situation? Because it's also bringing a lot of criticism and kind of an us versus them, because there are a lot of people saying, listen, there are a lot of people, citizens, residents of Chicago, who desperately need help, and they're not receiving that help. Yes, that has very much been a salient community discussion point um, across our city and an important one that I think we need to continue to convene uh, voices around. It's a dialogue that needs to be continuing. But what I would say is that it's not an either or, it should really be perceived and, and, and thought of and felt as a humanitarian issue. There is a moral imperative to step, uh, step forward and to provide for individuals who are very much in scenarios of crisis. And individuals who are coming here as migrants have fled harrowing circumstances, um, many of the, the risk of their own own safety in order to arrive here. And I think that um, we have, we very much have a deep obligation um, and a responsibility to step in to be supporting. And it's certainly uh, an issue that cannot be ignored. We have to, to somehow come uh, to, to some viable solutions. Elisa Roadcup, Executive Director of the Chicago Refugee Coalition, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.